Well, today, Robin, let's check out Ottawa Road Trips by Laura Byrne Paquette, this fantastic book. And, um, you know, day tripping from Ottawa. Why not start with A? And, uh, yep, to uh, yep. go to Arn Prior? Yep, let's start the at the beginning. Yeah, I love it. Let's see what this little town has to offer because, according to this book, it looks fantastic. It does, it does. And by the way, we have a book to give away, but we'll get you more details about that later. Okay, so let's here we get go. started. All right, we're ready. day trip without a stop at Tim Hortons first. Well that's true. Yeah. I mean we we are Canadian. That's right. So All right. Let's go get our beverages. Get first. our get our fill up. Yep. And uh, and hit the highway. Okay, well here's a, here's a now uh, Arn Pryor joke. Steak jokes are rare, but usually well done. Yeah. It's mm. cute. Well, there's a small town joke, right? Yeah. And there's downtown. Yeah. We're going to come at it from the north end. All right. So we get to see some of the things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we went to it. It was wonderful. It was great. Right. Okay. So this and is... this is the museum yeah. right here on the corner. Uh, the Arn Prior and District Museum. It's open 11 to 4, so that's something to explore. Mm -hmm. But we're off to the park. It's, it's just, great when a town is is uh, situated on on some water, and and then they have the park, and so great for picnics, and in the summer, of course, great for swimming. And our prior is fortunate to have its own hospital too. It's coming up here on the left. Oh, that's good. So let's just hope we don't end up there before the end of the day. Yeah. <laughs> this is Robert Simpson Park, just off the main drag. Boy, it looks lovely. This is very pretty. I mean, the gardens. This is really a lovely place, right on the water. Beautiful. And it has facilities. Oh my gosh, I see picnic tables yeah. and tons of them. A canteen? Yes. They don't allow you to drive right down to the water anymore, I don't think. I think you park here. Yeah, because they used to allow you yeah. to go all the way down. No parking on hill, so. Yeah. No parking. Well, what we should do is park. Oh, that's a, like a picture down there. Yeah, look at that. There's a band of blue in the middle of it all. Very pretty. Yeah, down here. There's the beach. Wow. This is very pretty. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous place. Let's just stop yeah. for a moment and enjoy the view. I think that's a great idea. I'll smile with my teeth next time. <laughs> Yeah, I mean this is ideal like, to to come here for the day, and this time of year it's just marvelous. Be interesting in the winter, but I think you know summer and fall would be the best best yeah. time to come, really. And, and you know, so many of us are trying to get back out into nature as part of you know stress management or oh, yes, or just definitely. you know a mood lifter, and this place yeah. has it in spades. This couldn't be prettier. I mean, the, the, it's a beautiful place. Stunning. You know, we couldn't have picked yeah. a better fall day. And they obviously take good care of their park, you know? Yeah. And all these picnic tables everywhere and- The beach. A beach, beautiful. Minutes, like 
literally two, three minutes from the downtown area. They've got it all. Yeah. People of Arm Prior, you're lucky. This is a nice place to be. very nicely. It says historic downtown Armprior. Mm. There is the mighty fine bakery that I read about in, in this uh, in this Ottawa road trip book. Would okay. you want to check it out? Yes please. Let's okay go. let's go. We're here. My glasses are clogging up. Yeah. We're here, Mighty Fine Bake House. Yeah. Have you been here before? Uh, yes, once. Yeah. Once. This is my first time, but yeah. everybody recommends it. Well, should we go in and see if there's something for our cooler? Absolutely. All right, let's check it out. I, I thought the bakery looked wonderful. I thought it looked mighty fine. Yes, and there was a mighty fine lineup there too. And that was our problem. You know what? We just we can't wait for no. too long for no. our, our goodies. No, we've got We're places impatient. to see. Places to go. That's right. Let's get started. Okay. So we're sitting here looking at the lovely John Street. And I guess it's their it's their main street. There is, and it's just chock full of shops and restaurants. So I think we should head that way and we'll see what we can find. I can't wait. Let's go. Every town has a dollar store now, it seems, but this particular dollar store in Arm Prior is one of my favorites because whenever I'm looking for something, I usually find it here. Now, it's not one of those everything is a dollar. Um, there are lots of different prices, but if you're looking for something, this place probably has it. Artful Gallery, and this is one of my favorite clothing stores. And in fact, I got this jacket there, which I love. It suits you beautifully. And from the looks of, you know, yeah. of the store window, they have all kinds of new inventory. Lots of goodies. Lots so of goodies. I think we need to go in and check it out. Why not? Let's go. The O'Brien Theater. Now that's an oldie. Wow, they've done a nice job of restoring it. And you know, it's still showing movies. The Adams Family, Venom 2. Oh my God, I'd love to see the inside of that. Maybe another day. A little bit of everything for everybody. Great. Hey. So 
the Artful Gallery had lots of stuff. There's some more really nice fashion stores right next to it. But yeah. right now, I think I'd like to go check out the Urban Farm Girl and have a cup of coffee and a, maybe a little snack. Absolutely. The Urban Farm Girls is written up in, in this book, and it's supposed to be a great place for lunch. And let's see what they have. All right, let's go. There's a Lumbertown Ale House that's mentioned in Laura's book. We've actually, I think, been there and they have a fabulous pub menu. Check it out. this be savvy fine foods in her book as well so I think we should check it out too. Well that was a lot of fun. It was and there's so much to see and do. You know I'd definitely come back another time. Absolutely. We didn't go inside the museum which is lovely at mm -hmm. that heritage building on the corner and um, there's even a walking trail through the woods that we didn't explore today. So oh, well, there's reasons to come back. Yeah, multiple reasons for yeah, multiple for sure. trips. But I had a really good time. Me too. It was well worth the trip. Fun day.